Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2023 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition. Pick your team number 13. I think by now everyone knows that all cards ship except for paper veterans and paper non-firsts. Everything else ships. Big thanks to this group here for getting it going. Aaron ended up with last spot mojo with the Orioles before we pulled the remaining teams for the, uh, for the filler. If you have Jumbo Pack 13 next to your name, congrats. You won spots. You won teams in that filler. The fire department. Sir, we've, we, we've been hearing some reports of some big hits being pulled at Jaspies. <laughs> we heard some uh, fire being pulled at uh, Jaspies. It's a hard fall from Draymond. You get <clears throat> he hit his head somewhere. He hit his head on the rim. No, he, I think he just kind of took a hard fall. Ooh, and his head kicked up off the on the deck too. All right, good luck, everybody. Nice, Jeremy. That may be back for the last two cases. Good. Jason, what'd you put 11 years into? Into that? What's, what's that? Jeremy's currently serving as head coach for your son's first grade pitch team. Nice. You're the Diamondbacks. It was randomly assigned. Now you cannot ignore the baseball gods. Well, good luck. The Diamondbacks are a pretty nice team here. You know, there's a certain player uh, on the Diamondbacks that if we pull could be a uh, could be part of your uh, your son's college fund. Should be nice. Oh, firefighting empty. Nice. A lot of hard work firefighting. So. A lot of hard work. All the wildfires that we have in California, definitely a lot of appreciation for our firefighters here. Oh, you're a lifelong Braves fan. Nice. So sad to see Drew end up elsewhere. Yeah, it would have been it would have been fitting if we saw him in Atlanta. All right, <clears throat> let's give it. Let's give this a whirl. Box number one. Settle in, folks. This is going to take a minute or two. It's going to take some time. But uh, for those of you, so that ships, that paper ships. This paper won't ship. That won't ship. Rookie cards will ship, obviously. Now, there are also is paper of some, pro obviously, blue paper Julio is definitely going to ship. That's to 150. There you go, LeBron. That's going to go to Mark in Seattle. So obviously Bowman firsts will ship, but there are some non-Bowman firsts that are still like prospects. Like I guess like Colton Kowser, for example, and that won't ship. But all Chrome will ship. So we can kind of breeze through the rest here. Obviously, all inserts ship. Uh, 
And that Sal Freelich will ship. That's gold. Nine out of 50. Nice. Sights on September. Yeah, it could be a September call up. We'll get a cup of coffee. Uh, that's Hovans with the Brew Crew. There's Roman Anthony to 250 purple paper for Boston. That's going to be for Josh Yost. Possible rookie of the year candidate right here, along with uh, along with Corbin Carroll. That'll be an interesting race to watch. There's Drew Jones. So good. All of these Drew Jones. Hopefully, first of many. Jeremy. There's Drew Jones there. Edward Julian, another prospect to keep an eye on. That's going to go to Stephen Carney. And the Twins. And I'm just showing my Dodgers bias here by just leaving that James Outman for, uh, for Mark. Well, our team will get that top loaded for you. And we've got, we've got Justin Henry Malloy, 44 out of 125 Aqua Lunar for the ATL. That'll go to Jason. Her auto, we should have three per box here. You better all be here. Justin Crawford, one of those guys that we're looking for. Spencer Jones, another one of those guys that we're looking for here. I didn't skip any autos, did I? It was Jason Curio to I think this box doesn't have autographs, folks. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Usually, Sometimes there's two. Got to have at least one. Wild. All right. Um, that sucks. How much are these jumbo boxes? How much are we charging for these jumbo boxes?
All right, well, if the whole case is like this, that's going to be a problem. Let's see what happens in this box right here. It's been reported on other places, some sort of error. Hmm. All right, well, if this box, if the next box is the same thing, we'll I'll get a different case and we'll start over. Johnny's right. We should have had an autograph by now. Oh, well, there is an autograph. That's going to be Spencer Jones for the Yankees. So that's for Oren and the Yankees. So maybe it was just that one box. You're saying each case averages three total autos out of the case with the issues? Well, hopefully this case will be different. The entire case will only have three total autos? Hmm. So it's just this one, that's gonna be it? Come on, tops.
All right. I'll get another case. You get two bonus boxes. Sample size for me. Or and you'll still get this, don't worry. All right, let's try this one. What a hassle. It's something about the stickers on the box too. These stickers are the same. No, they're they're all the same. They all have the same FGC zero zero five six zero five zero six seven codes on there. All right, well, a fresh new case, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, not screw it. We'll ship those other two boxes, too. No, all the stickers look the same. I mean, this is, we've done, this is Figure Team 13. We've done 12 jumbo cases, plus a random player case, and then another case. We've probably done 15 cases, and, I'm, and Instagram has done probably dozens of cases, too. That's the first time we've run into this issue. Who will? I don't know those guys. All right, here's Giancarlo Stanton to 150. And a much better start here. We've got Manuel Beltre, Blue Jays for Neil.
LBC for real in the Twitch stream. What's going on? Sorry, I just noticed your your chat. Sorry, I had to deal with a no auto issue in this in that last case. Got a Khalil Watson to 299 speckle for the fish. That's going to be for Scott and the Marlins. Wake up. And we got we got Diane Jorge. Autograph for Josh and the Rockies. So those are our first two autographs. Michael Arroyo, purple chrome to 250. Yeah, this is much more promising, Johnny. Thanks for, thanks for keeping me, uh, letting me know about that issue. I was like, that can't be. Although, I mean, there's no reason for Johnny to lie to me, but I was like, that can't be. That's, we gotta have everything in here. And apparently that's the case. Well, well, we'll figure it out, but, but you guys are all sorted. We've got a fresh case going here. We got Nikau Poco Grego, purple paper to 250 for the Phillies. That's going to be for Neil. Got, we got Juan Alonso. That's going to go to the Dodgers. Mark of the Dodgers. No, hey, I appreciate the heads up, Johnny. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't want to go through. I mean, I suppose if I went through like half the case, I would have been like, all right, I'm going to stop. <laughs> I guess I would have just stopped. But no, the, glad we caught it early. All right, three autos in box one from a fresh case. Box three total. All right, this, this seems like... Give those other boxes to Jason. No, I think we're gonna send them back. I don't wanna run the risk of having the rest of those boxes not have autos either. people on the personal break side would be very happy with that.
All right. Next box, good luck. We got a Cole Young Atomic to 150. That will be for Mark and Seattle. And we got a Dean jo uh, Jorge, that is, to 399 green paper for the Rockies. That'll be for Josh. And we've got a Damon Keith autograph for the Dodgers. That'll be for Mark. Spencer Jones Chrome. It'll be for Orin and the Yankees. Got a Wilmer Abreu, 12 out of 50 gold shimmer autograph for Will in Houston. We got James Wood, Ooh, piece of candy. 399 lava for Will and the Nationals. Saving these Justin Crawfords, too. That's going to go to Neil and the Phillies. All the uh, Edward Julians will go to Stephen and the Twins. All the Cam Collier is going to go to Jackie and the Reds. Brady House to 499, refractor for the Nationals. That's for it's for Will. And Manuel Beltre Speckle autograph. For the Bluebirds, that's going to be for Neil and Toronto. And another three autos, another box.
Well, we got my Lakers game at halftime. They're only down three. This third quarter is going to be important because Warriors tend to they tend to you know they tend to win third quarters real big, whereas the Lakers tend to fall asleep coming out of the half. Maybe, I don't know what happened. I don't know why that happened. Maybe they're drinking. Maybe they're drinking warm milk instead of uh, a hot coffee or something like that. In baseball, what's happening here? Uh, Cardinals beat the Cubs three-one. Wow, Wilson Contreras embracing booze in eventful return to Wrigley Field. Hmm. I mean, no. Uh, no, oh, she. I mean, you won a World Series with that team. Brewers beat my Dodgers nine to three. Royals beat up on the White Sox twelve to uh, twelve to five. Apparently, they played it eight runs in the sixth inning. Yankees beat the A's seven to two. The DJ LeMay who two run blast extending the Yankees lead. Pirates shut out the Rockies two nothing. On a Rodolfo Castro two-run shot in the seventh. Ray shot out the Orioles 3-0. Tigers beat the Guardians 6-2. And then uh, we've got four games in progress, which we'll check in on in the next box. All right, this box, good luck, everybody. I don't know, Will. On paper, I've said, I think you, you've you been with us for years. I've, haven't I been saying this for years, Will? I was like, man, every year on paper, I feel like that looks like such a good team. Guys like him, you know, solid pitching staff. They got Giolito, Lance Lynn, you know. It's blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And every year, I feel like they're they're well under whatever win total Vegas puts on him, or injuries get in the way. I guess injuries is really kind of a thing. It's just nothing's really, just hasn't really come together. Come together right now. Don't know what's happened. There's a uh, Frymi De Leon, got Magenta Lunar to 199. Josh Yost with the Red Sox. Got Yadiel Sanchez, Bowman first autograph for the Halos. That's for Will. Jones and Spencer Jones. Yeah, well, the, the Cardinals. I feel like I feel like I'll put the it's still early tag on them. I feel like they've got that. Yeah, that team's just way too, way too talented to to be this bad for this long. There's Moises Ballesteros. For the Cubs, that'll be for Jason Parker. I 
I mean, what's the Cardinals winning percentage now? Like, speaking of the Cardinals, Joshua Baez. Green grass 99. Is it like 38? 38%, 40% win percentage for the Cardinals? Now, if it's like the end of... It's like the end of June, and they're still at, still at a 40% winning percentage, something like that, then, then I'll be surprised. But we were talking about this yesterday. I feel like, I feel like they're kind of hitting panic buttons, though. Like, you know, we're like, oh, we got to move Wilson Contreras somewhere else on the diamond. We got to do, we got to do that. There's Adley Rushman to 125. Nice rookie card for the O's. Aaron. Yeah, Jordan Walker was doing fine, and then they sent him. They sent him back to the minors, which I thought was kind of weird. He wasn't doing. Awesome, but he wasn't doing bad. I think he was hitting like 270, 280. There's Zach Geloff to 399 for Will and the A's. You know, like enough to keep the kid up for a little bit longer. And let him get his get his feet wet, get comfortable with the season, et cetera, et cetera. What are they going to do? Are they going to keep shuttling him back and forth at this point? Does he have any more to prove in the minors? Probably not. I feel like there's some panicky sort of moves happening in St. Louis. And our third auto is Joe Stewart, 206 to 499. That is Will with the Angels. Next box. Come on. Can't give them second chances. Bring those rebounds down, guys. Let's go. Wake up. Damn it. Yeah, we're a little bit of a weird year so far, but still. We're just, we're just, we're on May 8th. We only have about a month of season in our belts. We got five more months to go. The beauty of baseball is that eventually things will, you know, unless some players are having career bad years and some players are having career good years, things should, uh, things should re regress back to the mean. I wonder if the rule changes are shaking things. That I think remains to be seen as well. But I, yeah, I also lo love the games being being over pretty quickly. I have yet to go to a game this season though, so I don't know how that feels on a game day kind of level. But you know, back in the day, games used to be fairly quick, you know, and I think we'll be able to figure it out, right? I think advertisers have to love it for TV, right? Because people, there's more of an active audience. You know, you start losing people if that game's like, you know, if that game stretches to three hours, three and a half hours, four hours. Some of those Yankees, Red Sox games, regular season games would be like, Four hour games, four and a half hour games. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Scott. Things things will eventually even out. You know, people people saw the Pirates hot start and they're like, oh my god, Pirates, look at that. When will they stop winning? You know, then they go on a seven game losing streak and everyone's like, oh, there are the Pirates. See, and it's like, yeah, well, that's baseball. You gotta. 
You gotta give it give it a little time to marinate. It's like getting a scratcher and you hit the first couple numbers. You know, and then and then you get to start you get excited about it. And it ends up being a worthless scratcher. I don't know if that's a good There you go, Austin Reeves with the three. That's the Austin Reeves we need. Ooh, Acuna. Yeah, that'd be... Wouldn't that be great for the hobby? Well, not only for the Braves and the fans, and I like Ronald Acuna Jr., but it's good for the hobby, too. If he ends up with a 40-50 season... I've been hearing, at least on the here on the West Coast, Will, I'm kind of hearing that that that's a good sign for Acuna. If he's starting to steal bases, you know, the, that means he's feeling healthy. The team believes he's healthy. They're letting him run. You know, like I think there's there's like no restrictions, right? No leash, no restrictions. They're just like, go, go eat, Ronald Acuna Jr. Go, go eat home runs. Go steal some bases. Get after it. We got Michelle Desson, 101 out of 250 purple Ray Wave for Aaron and the O's. There he is. This guy might be our best chance uh, to see. This guy might be your best chance to see a potential 50-50 season. Could Ronald Acuna do 50-50? That would be crazy. Here's Leover Paguero. 325 out of 499 rookie auto for the Pirates. It's going to go to Will. And the Buckos. There's Giancarlo Stan, and then here is Jorge Ruiz. Three, uh, 35 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for Will and the Angels. Wonder if Trout will get the green light to run again. Yeah, I think, I think the latter, Scott. I think he's just past that point in his career. I mean, when's the last time he played close to a full 162? which is kind of crazy seeing what his counting stats are, what his numbers are with all the injuries he's had. There's Luis Garcia, 147 to 199. Toronto, that'll be for Neil. Henry Davis, former number one overall pick, 499. 140 in 2018, 159 in 2016. Those are the last times he got close to a full season. Jeez. There he is. Uh, is he closer to moving to right field? I mean, maybe that's a good idea. I guess maybe when uh, maybe when Otani leaves the Angels in free agency, Mike Trout can move to DH. 
permanently. And there's Manuel Beltre, Toronto. That'll be for Neil. Those are our three autos. All right, halfway through this case. So let me get another, get another container actually, because we might we have those extra boxes. Right, yeah. I mean, he's yeah, you're right, Scott. He still a, is an above average fielder. I mean, uh, just a good fielder. Maybe even a great fielder, but you know, you just have to eliminate limit injury possibilities as much as possible. Injury possibilities as much as possible. <laughs> it's a mouthful. It, yeah, that's that's Around here in Southern California, that's a big topic of the conversation. Listen, a, a lot of we, you know, there's some Angels fans around town, and I think all of them, at least from anecdotally, all of them are not happy that Artie Moreno is not not selling the, is not selling the team anymore. Because when they first announced he was exploring selling the team, Subgate, they, uh, I think a lot of people were like, finally. You know, but some of the bigger mistakes personnel-wise has been under Artie Moreno's reign. And you know, there's been some you know that 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 player death issue. Is that still under? Is that still under litigation? And anyway, I think that's under his watch as well. You know. No, it's just he's I think he was good to take the Angels from this level to the next couple tiers up. But, but I think uh, I think he he just needs to you know he needs to uh, kind of figure that out. There's also. Kind of thing. I'm just looking up this article here. It's an interesting article on the on the athletic. But I think like nowadays the Angels don't even have like a Spanish language radio broadcast or something crazy like that. Of the three major league teams in Southern California, according to the Athletic, the Angels are the only team without a full time Spanish language broadcast. Guess how many Spanish speakers are in Southern California, ladies and gentlemen? So, 
So, which is crazy, just like the, the sort of team outreach, fan outreach isn't happening. They're busy trying to compete with, with you know, they're changed their name to Los Angeles Angels when they're in Orange County in, in Anaheim. So they're, they're trying to compete with the Dodgers when they should just be just killing it in their own backyard, but they're not. So, sort of, sort of a shame. It is a shame. Will is saying Trout needs 142 homers to get to 500. You think it's in doubt? Yeah, hopefully they'll push him to the DH sooner rather than later if they know it's good for them. Yeah, well, exactly, Will. So he, he goes to the trouble of rebranding the team, Los Angeles Angels, to increase the value. Doesn't end up selling the team when he was going to. I mean... And then, I'm not following it too close. Here's Matt Olson to 499. I'm not following it too closely, but I think there's like there's some land issues that are in play there that he wants to develop into something, but the city won't or... Some classic Anaheim City Council corruption, you know, is happening and all sorts of drama there. Or he's not playing well with the city council, so they'll probably never get anything done there. There's William Bergola to 125. There's also, there's also just talk about how he's just kind of cheap, you know, with all the money he has. Um... Thinks, I think I heard somewhere, I think maybe on Sports Talk Radio or something like that, one of the beat writers for the Dodgers maybe were saying, listen, here's an example, right? The Dodgers front office, like just the staffers in the front office, assistant stats guys and girls and team members and all that sort of stuff, assistants, analysts, video people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, assistants, secretary, you know, all the support people that are there. Double the size of the Angels' front office. There's Ben Brown to 299. So if you don't have that front office infrastructure, you know how are you going to make good draft picks? How, or you know how are you going to hire good scouts? How are you going to find good managers to manage these scouts and get all the best information during a draft, etc., etc., etc. So that that's an issue too with the Angels. And meanwhile, you have two of the most marketable players in baseball sitting on that team, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. And now what? I think that was the A's. That was, that was popularized, I think, both in the book and the movie Moneyball. I wouldn't be surprised if the Angels did that too. There's Jorge Ruiz, or at least in like the minor leagues. They'll screw their minor league players. They'll give Anthony Rendon and Josh Hamilton a boatload of money. And then poor Jorge Ruiz, you know, riding on a, on a half operating bus, having to pay for his own, uh, his own sodas or Gatorades out of the machine. Pretty sure it was in the book, unless it was the movie that, I don't know, no one seemed to dispute it. So. I haven't read that book in a while, I gotta reread that. And how about, how about the A's? That ownership is pretty terrible too. Las Vegas Raiders owner, my Raiders, right? Talked of recently made a statement, I think un maybe prompted or unprompted, maybe he was just asked about his comments about what he thought about Oakland following his team to to Vegas. And here's Brooks Lee, nice. Uh, 105 out of 150, Blue Lunar, Twins, Stephen Carney. Yeah, their eighth overall pick. 
back in uh, 2022. But Mark Raiders owner Mark Davis was like, man, the A's are the ones that screwed us. I think they did something where they where they locked in. Here's Peyton Graham to 499. They they locked in extra years of lease on that stadium so they weren't able to jointly create a new stadium basically i think that's what it was someone correct me if i'm wrong but i think the gist of it was they signed a lease then they wanted the designation as oakland's team or something stupid like that something marketing bs Ultimately, the A's and the Raiders were supposed to try to work together with the city to create a big sports facility there. And the A's kind of railroaded them on that. Raiders couldn't really move on anything, you know, and, they, and then they went to Las Vegas. And then the A's, for years after that, still dragged their feet on stadium stuff and everything. They wanted a bunch of public money, blah, 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 blah. Here's the Oscar Mercedes to 50 gold paper and then they end up making their way out there yeah watch a video of the a stadium the place is terrible yeah rotting wood broken seats apparently you know all the raider former raiders players like the bowels of the stadium were terrible there were toilet leaks all over the place you know so there was a lot of talk about that you know obviously the, you know, the A's weren't really ponying up any money for renovations or anything like that. I mean, that was an old stadium 10 years ago, <laughs> you know? And poor fans... You know, I, I, I think the, the narrative was the, it was the fans weren't supporting the A's. And the fans were like, no, we're here. The, the ownership has, has done crap for us. They actually, th I thought this was a great idea. They, uh, they attempted a reverse boycott. You know, where they're, they're like, listen, let's go to games. Let's, let's show people, hey, the fans are here. It's the ownership. So I think they would do like a certain games where, you know, where they do like a revert. They fans would plan on like a reverse boycott, and they'd all go to a game, and there'd be like twenty five, thirty thousand people there on a weeknight. And they're like, "Yeah, see, we're here." Yeah, you'd have to be a hardcore baseball fan, right? Well, Will, like it'd be cool to go to a game there. Only fifteen hundred people on hand. Players could probably it'd be like going to a minor league game or a spring training game. But yeah, you'd have to be really hardcore to go to to go to an A's game. Kind of running out of space. Should have enough space for two more boxes in my trash can here. Uh, let's see. Let's check in on the games that are uh, that are active here. We already looked at all these other scores, right? In the bottom of the eighth, Nationals are leading the Giants 5 nothing. Middle of the ninth, going to the bottom of the ninth, Mariners down a run, so they're let down to their last few outs. Diamondbacks leading the Marlins 5-1, top of the eighth. Astros Angels tied, top of the fourth, at four apiece. And we got Ronnie Simon. That'll be for the Rays. That's going to go to Oren. There's William Bergola, Aqua Lunar to 125 for the Phillies. That'll be for Neil.
See, this is what this is what the Lakers do. The Golden State's up 77-68. They come out of the third hot. Lakers come into the third cold. Ooh. Good steal, though. Maybe they'll close a third strong. Yeah, there we go. There's Randy De Jesus, purple paper to 199. It's a different kind of purple paper. I don't know what that. So maybe someone off the top of their head knows that pattern. Got a brave. We have um, Ambioris Taveras, 448 out of 499. That is for Jason Parker and the Bravos, your number 15 organizational prospect. Crowd sounds nice. Let's go. Keep it up, guys. Let's go, Austin. Ah. All right, Jeremy, will do. For you, for that, I will. I think we have, uh, we should have your number on file. If you are registered for an account on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Or you can leave the laptop open and keep the volume on mid and I'll yell out, Jeremy, wake up. Wake up, Jeremy, super. There's Yankil Fernandez, blue shimmer to 150. Josh with the Rockies. Oh yeah, Gilo. Oh, what about what about JT? What about what about JT? JT, J Taylor, Jeremy Taylor. What about Jeremy Taylor? Jeremy Smith. I suppose the Jeremy part might still wake you up, and have to yell Taylor. Here's Daniel. Montesino for the Padres. That's going to go to Barry. Yeah, I, I like uh, <laughs> Gabe's Gabe's uh, super fractor escrow service. I send. I'll send it to. <laughs> I'll send it to Gabe. He'll keep it safe for sure. Gabe's vault services.
No, no super yet, Jackie. All right, two boxes left, ladies and gentlemen. You saw Drew Jones auto to five pull the other day? Well, we didn't pull it. If a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? If someone else pulls a big hit, non, not at Jaspies, is it actually a big hit? <laughs> That's right, Jack. That's the right answer. That's correct. Got to have the train, the train of approval. What do you, what, what does that go for, Chilo? Do you know? Out of five, Drew Jones Auto. What's that going for these days on the secondary market? Got Jay Savina, refractor autograph for the Brew Crew. It's going to go to Havans. You don't you think these Burger King jingles should have lyrics with like a little bouncy ball on top of the lyrics, so we can sing along instead of just the just the chorus? They should. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. What a... I think the lyrics specifically state the nature of his... Uh, the nature of his activities with the neighbor. Yet he has the, the gumption to say that it wasn't him. He said he was caught red-handed. That's not fooling anybody, Shaggy. I don't know a single person that eats at Burger King. Yeah, it's been a minute or two since I've been to a Burger King. Uh, I don't know how they're still in business. There's Oscar Colas to four ninety nine. That's for Josh and the White Sox. Your $20 offer got auto denied for that Drew Jones to five. It's people like you, Gilo, that, 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 make, uh, that make selling so difficult and frustrating. There's Kenny Gomez to $4.99. $99,000, wow. And we've got...
got Junior Caminero, Tampa Bay, Oren. Let's go. Nice and easy. I don't want any fadeaway threes, LeBron. Just play, play your game. There you go. Drive to the basket, get it to AD, turn around jumper, bucket. Nice. Game's tied, 84-84. That's the play. Keep running that play. At B, okay, it's got a good jingle though. It not good enough to get me to Burger King, but it's a good jingle. There's Ezekiel Tovar, purple paper to 199. Purple paper, majesty above the fruited plain. There's Hayden Younger. Oh, Canada, my spoon thing, something, something. This goes to Neil and the Toronto Blue Jays. And there's Jace Young, 10 out of 10. Nice. Detroit. That'll be for Josh. Their Twitter's pretty funny, too. That's good, I guess. Is that gonna is that gonna make us go to Burger King anytime soon? They were pretty funny. That equals good food. I think the only thing decent there is their original chicken sandwich. Though I don't, I don't think I've ever had anything else there. To be honest with you. my fast food places to be funny. I don't need my ins my car insurances to be funny. A lot of insurance commercials where they're trying to be funny. It's not funny when they're denying your claim. That's not funny. Every restaurant looks like a flea market cafe. I've been to some flea market cafes. That's the expectation when you go to a flea market, not when you go to a, a fast food restaurant. I wonder if like, do you think Burger King franchises are like just super cheap? And so people people just buy it as like a business, but you know, they don't they don't upgrade like the tables or anything like that. They don't do any remodeling, or Burger King doesn't help them do any remodeling. Ooh, draw the foul. Is Subway the cheapest like fast food restaurant to to buy to franchise?
Yeah, Subway. There's so many other better fast sandwich chains that are out there that you can go to. Or make your own sandwich. Go Lonnie Walker. Good job, Lonnie. That's a block. That's clean. Get out. There's Christian Yelich. To two ninety nine magenta paper. There was a lawsuit a couple of years ago arguing that Subway's bread could not legally be advertised as bread because of the amount of sugar in it. Yeah. Make your own sandwich, people. It's, it's not that. It's not that bad. I can make a pretty mean sandwich. Not that hard. There's Luis Angel Acuna, Ronald's brother, 75. Texas, that'll go to Will. Ooh, here's a nice one coming up. That is a Jacob Berry speckle autograph to 299. Scott with the Marlins. There that's their first round sixth overall pick. And the number 52 prospect just overall in all of baseball. Nice one, Gilo. Very nice. Going to Scott and the fish. Won that in the filler. Yeah, speaking of fish, I think their tuna was not really tuna, right? Ooh, let's go, Lonnie. No way. Steph Curry is just ridiculous. Nick Vogt, 005 to 150. That's going to go to Barry and the Padres. What do you think Steph Curry's field goal percentage would be if all of his shots were from half court? You think he'd be like 30% from half court? There's Kenny Gomez to 125. If the half court, if behind the half court turned into four points, it's Kenny Gomez for the Astros for Will. What would Steph Curry's four point percentage be? Might be 30%, 35% maybe. Oh, let's go Lonnie. He's got like a he's got like a Kobe Mamba look in his eyes, Lonnie Walker the fourth. Drew Gilbert to two ninety nine. Ooh, that was on Steph too. a lot of time left. Seven minutes and 28 seconds left in the game. And 
the last auto here is Moises Ballesteros going to Jason Parker and the Cubs. Let's see if we can get another numbered card here before we're all out. All right, and that is that, ladies and gentlemen. You're, hey, you're welcome, Will. Thanks for your big help on the uh, on the filler. We had a weird start to this break. We had a no auto case, but brought out a fresh case, and we got back on track. So thanks, everybody. You'll get a couple extra boxes as well since 90% of these cards ship, and obviously all the hits will ship, and those numbered cards will ship from the first two boxes as well. And, of course, we did get one, though, <laughs> from that first false start case but we made up for it got back on track thanks for your understanding on that uh it's all good it's all, it's all right now 2023 bowman baseball jumbo eight box or 10 uh pick your team 13 in the books thanks for watching thanks for breaking with us thanks for your patience appreciate you i'll see you next time for the next break jazbeescasebreaks.com